Hello everyone, Kyle Hansen here in Moscow, Idaho at the famed Kibbe Dome, home of the Idaho Vandals. And we had a great one on Saturday evening here in Moscow as the number 16 Montana Grizzlies were in town to take on the third ranked Vandals. The Vandals have been legit all season long and lived up to the expectations while the Grizzlies were in town looking to get the little brown stein back after losing it a year ago and make a statement victory against their rivals. Grizz first drive takes them down the field, and it's Grant Glasgow knocking home the 43-yard field goal to make it 3-0 Montana. But then the Grizzlies hit the home run ball. Clifton McDowell airs it deep, and he hits Junior Bergen, who breaks a tackle, and see ya. 76 yards for the score, and just like that, it's 10-0 Grizz. Second quarter now, and it's all Montana. Eli Gilman takes the handoff and rips off a 53-yard run to get the Grizzlies deep in Idaho Vandal territory. Things starting to get chippy in this one as the rivalry begins to heat up between these two programs and the Grizzlies add on to their lead. As Clifton McDowell keeps it himself and gets into the end zone, the trash talk continues, but the Grizzlies take the 17 to nothing lead. Again, it's Glasgow going two for two as he drills a 46 yard field goal to make it 20 to nothing Montana with 212 left in the first half. But Idaho makes sure to respond before halftime as Anthony Woods scores on an 11 yard run and the Grizzlies head into halftime leading 20 to seven. Second half, Vandals down on UM's 12. It's fourth and six, and they opt to go for it, and the ball is batted, and Reitermeyer comes up with it, and the Grizzlies prevent any points and keep the lead. Grizzlies looking to drive and strike again, but it's Helena High grad Keyshawn James Newby getting the big sack on McDowell, and the Vandals force a Grizzly punt. Vandals again looking to answer. Javon McCoy drops back, throws it, but Riley Wilson bats it up, and it's Jackson Lee coming down with the interception, and the Grizzlies take their 20-7 lead to the end of the third quarter. Now again, it's Glasgow as he had a huge game for Montana, he makes this one from 44 yards out to make it 23 to 7 as he goes 3 for 3 on the day with all three field goals coming from over 40 yards. But then the high powered Idaho offense begins to come alive. Here's McCoy evading the defense and he finds Hayden Hatton for the 19 yard touchdown. Then it's the Vandals connecting on the two point conversion with McCoy finding Hatton again and this trims it to 23 15 Montana with less than six minutes to go. Idaho looking to drive again and it's McCoy finding Jermaine Jackson for the huge chunk play as the Vandals begin to drive quickly. Then, late in the quarter, chaos ensues. McCoy again evading the defense as he scrambles to his right, and he finds Hayden Hatton again, who dives for the touchdown. And that brings the Vandals within two, but the two-point conversion to tie it is no good as Montana comes up with the huge stop, and the Grizzlies keep the lead with less than two minutes to go. Montana ball, fourth and two. They opt to go for it to try to seal this one up, but the Vandals get the huge stop to get the ball back with less than a minute to go. But then, first play of the Idaho drive, it's Cale Edwards getting past his man and sacking McCoy. McCoy who fumbles it and it's Levi Janicaro scooping it up and that seals it for the Montana Grizzlies as the 16th ranked Grizz take down the number three Idaho Vandals 23 to 21 in Moscow as the Grizzlies get the statement victory and back-to-back -back wins over ranked opponents on the road and after losing it a year ago the Grizzlies exact the revenge and the little brown stein is heading back to Missoula. Reporting in Moscow, Idaho, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.